now. So what you'll be left with is this here, which is the sloping of the roof. Do the same on the other side. Again, from that score line and judge it roughly to the centre. And then do it again. I don't know if that's very central, but we'll soon find out. And just snip that down like so. Right, sorry about that. I got all the way through. And then I realised that I had forgotten some pieces. Sorry, ladies and gents, I done it again. I went down and I left this bit downstairs, so I had to hightail it back down to go and get it. This is one of the pieces that I forgot. What this is, it's a piece of DSP that measures three and a quarter by three and a quarter, and I'd just like to lay it in there. I think it just finishes it off, especially when we're going to have um, in hinge opening. Put the DSP this way, because that's the way it's gonna it's gonna open from the side, and this is the way I like to have it running. On there like that. Then this bit here is going to sit on top of our unit, if you can see. Oh, lift the camera up a little bit because I think I must have knocked it. And it was getting past. And yet yeah, that's going to sit on there like so. So I'm going to use some tape just to make sure that it, that it sticks well. And it doesn't fall off. Hopefully I will get done very, very shortly. Do apologise for how long this video is going on. I'm hoping the more I get used to doing videos, even if I just try and do one a week, um, I work full time, so it wouldn't be fair to commit myself to anything more than one. Um, after this one, I'll see what the feedback's like. If nobody likes my videos, then I'll just stop doing them. Um, I need to order myself a new tripod, though. That is one of the the first things on my list I mean imagine having to you know attach your keep your phone on your tripod using elastic band I've heard it all now right what I'm doing is I'm just lining this up on here there will be a slight little gap either side but that is fine and then just push that down make sure that it's stuck and then this is what we are left with now it's time for your roof panels. Obviously your roof panels are going to sit like this. But one of these is going to act as a hinge and they are going to, it is going to lift up like that. So what we've got is, we've got a piece of DSP. This was another bit that I'd forgotten and why I had to pause the video. Which measures one and three quarters by three and three quarters. Score in half on the short side at seven eighths of an inch, and this is just so we're going to attach this to one of the roof pieces, and it's going to go like that. And then we'll adhere some more glue, and that will go onto here. But before we do that, we need to put some hinges just one on here and then one on the opposite side. And for these. I've got these and let's just remind myself what these measure. These are one and a half inches by three quarters of an inch and I've just scored down the middle at three eighths of an inch. We'll just burnish them. You could make them a bit small if you wanted to or a bit longer going with a full length if that's what you wanted um, but the act of purpose so yeah. I'm going to stick so more double sided tape, we do use a lot of it in this project, um, one on either side of the score line, which is just to help us fix everything together. And there's one done, let's do the second one. I 
what I might do is I might attach double sided sticky tape to everything that we need um, and then it will save me getting this out again so the only other piece we need it on is this bit here which is going to act as the hinge and just pop some on here like so I like to put two strips on each on each half of the score line just because then I know it's going to give a really good grip it's not going to fall off obviously don't put any tape on the score line um, because it wouldn't be good right so this is all of our sticky done for the time being pop that to one side what we're going to do is we are going to adhere our roof tiles as well I get excuse me pointy tool she went down and got it when I was when I forgot my paper makes it so much easier to get tape off having a pointy tool or a paper piercer I'd be lost without mine check these ones off as well So that's ready. So then what you want to do is bring in our box, just making sure you can turn it so you can see, like that. And what I want to do is I want to just place, well you can't see because of my hand in the way, I want to just place that somewhere in the middle, just up to, measured up to the, the side of your panel, like so. And then the other half is on there. Then we get the other one. And I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. I'm sorry for my hand getting in the way here. Um, I'm trying to do it the best that I can. So there we have our two hinges. One and two. Take one of your roof tiles. And just line this up. I like to do it so it's a little bit of an overhang um, and just stick that on there like so then turn it round make sure it's nice and level nice and straight and do the same so that here is the first half of our roof now for this part what we're going to do is I'll take all of this sticky off, this release paper off the sticky strip. Once again, excuse my mess. It is so bad, it is unbelievable. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to line this piece here up with a score line so it's in the center and then fold over one half of the paper just line that up I don't know if you can see that yet I'm doing and then just press that down I've messed up a little bit here but I'll be fine and then what we want to do is fold that I like to fold that bit back and line this bit up to where it's going to sit like so and then what you want to do is just press that down, make sure you're lining it up on the other roof tile. Oops, wrong thing. And then just press down, give it a good little burnish like so. And then like you can see, that opens up and you can store some bits in here, whether it is some double-sided sticky tape um, or other crafty goodies. A little pot of embellishments fits really nicely in here and these drawers I've tried them out with some of my stash downstairs and these can comfortably hold um, our bottles of dazzling details both the gold and the silver fit in there really nice with just a little bit room as well this side here does hold some of our mini glue dots and also some of our tearing tape um, it can fit in there quite well and um, it hangs out a little bit like you see you can you know, stick some Tombow in there. So I think it's really, really cute and I love how it turned out. 
Um, what you might have to do sometimes is just bend down a little bit just to stop it from bowing. Um, anyway, I really hope that you like the project um, and that you'll have a go. Thanks for watching. Bye.